Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel, where we're going to be playing the Minecraft Create mod. With my own mod pack that's also available for you to play, I think it's time we get right into it. And here we are, a brand new adventure on the channel. And I guess this one's just got to start like every other one. Oh, wild well, carrots. Am I getting distracted already? Nope, this is useful. It's good early game food. Let's just punch our first tree and let's craft our first tools. Well, I say tools, just a wooden pickaxe for now. Let's just grab ourselves a little bit of stone and get these tools upgraded. Oh yeah, look at us go. You know what? While we're here, let's grab some coal. I'm sure that's going to come in handy. And I guess at this point, we should probably talk about what I want to achieve in this episode. Now, of course, this is episode one. So I think I want to try and get some sort of starter base set up. Just a place to put all of our basic create machines. And I would also really like to try and get some automatic food supply set up in the form of some sort of crop farm or something, but I'm sure Create Mod is going to be able to help us with that. Now, I don't really think I'm quite ready to try and pick a spot for a base yet, but as you can see, the terrain around here is just so, so nice. So it shouldn't be too hard to find somewhere. Oh, bit more coal. Thank you. But speaking of terrain, I have actually gone ahead and run a mod called Chunky, just so I can load up a whole bunch of the map here. And that kind of just helps with the performance of running this mod pack, which once again is available to you in the description. Well, I can't stop finding coal. Could kind of do with some iron. Hello, iron. Am I really ready to go caving yet? Not really. Tell you what, we'll save caving for a little while. Say hello to this Robin. Hi. And I guess let's just have a little explore around this area. I mean, I know I said I hadn't really found anywhere for a base yet, but I'm really liking the look of that mountain. It'd be quite nice to have that in view of our base, wouldn't it? And yo, look at this. Oh, is this an apple tree? Please, please, please. Yes, it is. Oh, this is actually so good. Unlimited apples. Now, I think let's take a little look over that way. Because when I spawned in, I thought I saw some sort of village over here. And yeah, there it is. Look at that. Oh, this is actually a really cool looking village. Oh, and yo, it's pretty big too. All right, what we got here? We've got some barrels, seeds. I suppose I'll take them. Oh, bucket of water and more coal. You know, at this point, we should probably be taking everything that we see. Like a load of bread. Hello. What is this? Antidote vessel. Greatly reduces the duration of negative effects. Equipable in the belt trinket slot. Okay, that's actually really cool. Where does this go? Belt slot. Oh, I'm wearing it too. Yo, I'm looking kind of cool. Yep, this village is amazing already. Bed. Yes. And more bread. Villager hat. Decreases the trading prices of villagers. Yo. Oh, that is actually so cool. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing the hat. Oh, my hair's popping through it as well. Oh, that is actually ridiculous. What else have we got here? Tomato seeds. Oh, potatoes. That's so good. Oh, we've got onions there as well. Oh, we have got a lot of crops to plant. Compass, that could be pretty handy. A map, why not? I'll take it. Bookshelves, I think we'll just leave for now. Don't think we're going to need those today. Oh, geez, there is just so much stuff here. <gasps> oh, crops and villagers. Oh, the villagers have names. This guy's Kenneth. And apparently he's a chef. Oh, yeah, we can buy stuff cheaper. So it's four onions for an emerald from this guy. That's pretty good. I mean, we have four onions we could sell, but I think we can plant those onions. I think we'll keep those for now. They say in that there's a whole bunch of onions here. Might as well just take all of this, I guess. Oh, just so much stuff. Inventory's almost full. We got a rotten tomato. I don't think we'll take that. Oh, we got 63 onions now. All right, where's that chef? We're trading. And it's almost nighttime, so we should probably be sleeping as well. <sighs> oh, yeah, fresh day. Where did that chef go? I mean, maybe in here this looks like a kitchen. Where is this guy? Wait, there he is. Is that the same guy? Kenneth? It is. Yo. Oh. Right, let's do some trading with this guy. Oh, we can sell cabbage as well. Yo, this is pretty good. I don't really want to use all the onions, though. Kind of want to save them to plant more. We'll come back and see you another day, Kenneth. But yeah, I think I'll spend some time looting up the rest of this village. And I'll be right back. Kenneth, um, more trading, perhaps? Level up? My onions are gone. Brilliant. Oh, wait, but we've got an onion crate here. I think we can uncraft this into more onions. Yes. Okay, don't lose them all this time. Are you going to level up? Give me some good food, please, Kenneth. Oh, wait, I can buy melon juice. Wait, is melon juice good? Let's try it. It um gave me no food. It gave me nothing. Kenneth, what the heck, man? I thought you meant to give good deals. You know what? I'll buy another one just to level you up. Come on, I want to buy some good food, Kenneth. Get off the fire, Kenneth. Break this. He's going to die. What are you doing? You're crazy! Oh, we can buy pasta with mutton chop! Yes, give me a bunch of these, please. Oh, this is an early game food. This is good food. Yo, Kenneth, what a guy. <gasps> Honey glazed ham? What is this? Okay, let's buy this. Oh, they don't stack. Okay, well, oh, this is becoming such a huge mess. This is meant to be quickly looting the village. All right, let's just try to check the rest of this place out quickly. 
Oh, oh, is that a waystone? Yo. Oh, we definitely got to take this. Oh, I can't pick it up. Drop this poppy. Oh, this thing's going to come in so, so handy. We'll definitely get that pop down once we find a base, which I think we're going to have to do pretty soon. Inventory is completely full right now. There's not really too much that I want to drop. So we are going to need a place to call home pretty soon. Though I think we found the library building. Power 3 book and Blast Protection 3. I mean, I guess we're going to leave these here. I don't think we're going to be basing too far away from this village. I mean, when we get to enchanting, we've got all the book shelves we need here. So villages with that, I think I'm going to get out of here. I'm sure we're going to be paying you guys another visit. But right now we need to find a home. And I think I'm going to head towards that mountain over there. I'm really loving this big open clearing. We've got spruce nearby. We've got oak over there. So that should be pretty good for our building needs. Oh, look at that on the mountain. Oh, if those two things don't scream create mod. Right, yep, I think this is the place. I'm doing it. Crafting table, bed, and the most important thing, a chest. Oh, empty all this out. Oh, and also we have a waystone. We may as well plonk this down for now as well. And we'll call this thing home. But after establishing our new base location, I spent a little bit of time gathering some basic materials, like some wood, some cobblestone, and some dirt. Also that I was able to tidy up the terrain a little bit and mark out the area for a build that I had in mind. And here we are, a basic plan is all in for the base. And as you can see, I've just sort of marked out a big circle here. And I got a whole bunch of this terrain figured out as well. There probably is a few more bits to tidy up over here. But I think for now, just working with stone tools, this is okay. My plan is to get some crops planted in this circle. And then build our little crate workshop up in the middle. But before I do that, I wouldn't mind upgrading some of my tools. And perhaps getting some iron armor. Now, while I was out getting stone, I did find myself a little bit of iron. Which I've smelted up in our furnace. So with that, I think let's make ourselves an iron pickaxe. And let's also try and craft ourselves a little bit of armor. Right, chest plate and some leggings. That is just going have to do for now but let's also craft a whole bunch of torches and i think the time has come to finally do a little bit of caving you've got this big opening here just behind the base so i think we just explore this for a little bit i don't really want to go too deep into the cave oh first mob oh and a creeper okay this is going swimmingly please leave right you know what i don't usually do this but i always get a million comments telling me to so for once i'm gonna listen and craft myself a shield because perhaps this is a smart idea for this little caving expedition not really too sure how dangerous these caves are gonna be like i said we're not gonna go too far down just really want to get some iron and maybe a little bit more coal and oh, look at this zombie he's wearing clothes wait all zombies sort of wear clothes don't they yeah that was dumb Right, not really seeing any iron down that way. I think we might need to head a little bit deeper down into the cave and... Oh, it looks like this way goes pretty deep. Just want to find myself a little bit of iron. Oh, yes, there we go. Only two, but hey, it's better than nothing. You know what? I think this might require a caving montage. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, what's that? Maybe something good? Oh, there's actually iron here as well. Oh, the chest is moving. Um, and there's a creeper. This is bad. Um, can I be smart about this? Yeah, there's a first time for everything, I suppose. Oh, there's so many creepers. Oh, can I hit this chest thing? Oh, he's got a lot of health, you know. Oh, yes, I can hit him when he jumps. If only had something more than a stone sword. Okay, this is kind of going well. Oh, he's pretty low now. You know what? I'm going to get down, finish him off. Yes. Look what he's wearing. That's some infinite drift type outfit you got going on there. Well, oh, we got a witch as well. Um, is this a bad idea? Please. I'm poisoned. Okay, this could be bad. Why have you got so much health? Die. Oh, oh, that's bad. Right, eat, eat, eat. I see iron. Oh, I really want to see what that chest dropped, but I just don't feel safe. Right, just grab the iron, grab the iron. Oh, we got 28 now. That's actually pretty good, you know. Let's just light this area up just so nothing spawns. And what did that chest drop? Vampiric glove causes the wearer's melee attacks to absorb health. Yo. Okay, where do I put that in here? Yes. Oh, so when I kill stuff, I get health back. Yo, that is actually so cool. Man, I wonder if we can find more of those chest things. I know they're dangerous, but that's pretty OP items, right? Oh, some free books. I'll take those. And do you know what? Honestly, I'll take a spare bed too. And this furnace. Why not? And the barrel. Okay. Oh, gold. Oh, that's actually so useful. Oh, I really want that for something a little bit later on in this episode. But I think at this point, I'm probably going to start trying to head out of this cave. Grab all the iron that I see on the way out. We've definitely got enough some iron tools and some full iron armor now. What's that? 36? Yep, that's there. Definitely going to be enough, not to mention for all the crate things I want to build as well. So I'll see you guys back on the surface. All right, and with a bit more iron smelted, we can make our helmet and also our iron boots. I mean, does this work with the hat? Uh, 
Kind of? What the heck is this? All right, I may look stupid, but uh, well, it is what it is for now. But your full iron armor, let's go. But with that out of the way, I do want to start trying to work on the base a little bit. And like I said before, I want to get a whole bunch of crops planted in this circle. And as you can see here, we've got some wheat seeds, some cabbage seeds. We've got some carrots and some potato. Then we also have stuff like tomato and rice as well. Yeah, we've got some tomato seeds there and rice panicle panacle not too sure how this stuff works yet but i think we'll just focus on these four crops for now and to do that obviously we're going to need an infinite water source so we need to make ourselves another bucket and go and grab some water which i think is over this way towards the village oh look at that oh abandoned nether portal is that what it's called abandoned portal ruin portal <gasps> or if you know you know white tiger great bush Yo, let's take this. We'll be saving those for a different episode. But has this thing got any good loot? Oh, there is a chest. Oh, a whole bunch of gold, a bunch of iron. A mending hoe. Okay, we are actually going to need that. And a mending gold shovel. I mean, gold tools is a little bit of a waste of time. But hey, I'll take it. Plus a gold block. That is going to come in handy. Oh, yeah, here's some water. And just another quick shout out for this terrain. Look at this. I love how the rivers are just in like a big canyon. Granted, it's a little bit annoying trying to traverse this terrain. Oh, but I do think that scenery is worth it. Look at that. Now, one thing I do want to look at is how we can get some bone meal. And with create we can feed calcite into a millstone and it's a 75 percent chance of bone meal and if i remember correctly i did see some just beyond the village because i mean this stuff would be pretty handy to grab because we're gonna have a whole bunch of crops to plant and i definitely don't have enough seeds for all those oh yeah just beyond here look at all that calcite oh look at this coastline it's so nice right i don't really want to destroy all the terrain here but oh calcite iron don't mind if i do yeah i'm probably gonna have to destroy a little bit of this terrain and just fix it afterwards and oh geez. I don't have another pickaxe. And good as new. Oh, there's so much calcite here. Okay, this is such good news. Right, let's just repair this giant mess that I've made. And let's make our way back home and craft ourselves our first create item. Right, first things first, let's get ourselves an infinite water source, just like that. And let's try and craft ourselves a millstone, for which we're going to need some andesite casing, a cog wheel, and I think just a bit of cobblestone. So let's start off by crafting ourselves some andesite alloy. Slap a log down, strip it, and give it the alloy. We'll need to make a few shafts so we can get a couple of cogs. And while we're at it, let's actually get a couple of big cogs too. But with all that, we should be able to craft ourselves a millstone. Right, all we really need to do now is just give this thing a little bit of power. So let's just track a little cog there. Maybe dig out a little space underneath here. I mean, this is only going to be temporary. It's not going to be pretty. We'll put a big cog there. Little cog here. And big cog here. Let's craft ourselves a little water wheel to put here. Place some water. And yo, look at that. First create machine's running. Like I said, it's not pretty, but this should give us the bone meal that we need. So I think all we have to do now is check a stack of this in. Oh yeah, you can see that it's working. Look. Oh, look at that at the top. One bone meal, 63 calcite. Okay, so this thing's actually working. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of impressed with myself. But with this little bone meal thing, working and a whole bunch more iron to play with i mean mainly to make iron hoes i think i'm just about ready to start getting these crops into the base so let's get that done And here we are. I got all the farmland planted now. I kind of just left it at this point here because I'm not really too sure how big I need this thing to be. Of course, like I said before, I want to have a building in the middle here. And I also want to go ahead and use the create mod to automate each of these four different crops. Now, I originally did plan on building the house first and sorting out automation afterwards. But I actually think I'm going to do it the other way around. Just so I know how much space I have to work with once all these create machines are in. So with that, there's a few things I'm going to need to craft here. I should have pretty much everything. I might just need a little bit more iron which honestly i think i'm just gonna go up to that mountain and grab from there you can see there's quite a bit up there thank you and you and you and i think you get the point all right a stack plus another five i think that should be okay let me just head back to base get this iron smelted up and then we can craft some more create machines all right so to do this there's going to be quite a few things that we need to craft i've got them all listed up here like some of the main things we're going to need is this mechanical harvester i mean this stuff we made before the casing we made before but we don't have iron sheets yet same with these shoots which we're going to need they also require iron sheets so to actually make these we're going to need to craft a mechanical press which is an iron block an anisite casing and a shaft so that is super easy to do 
do. There we go. We just need to connect this thing to some power. But of course, we have over here. I think if we put the press like there, all we need to actually do is just root power in. Tell you what, I think we're actually going to need a vertical gearbox. So to do that, we just need to make a few more cogs. And that should give us what we need. Let's make one of those vertical. So I think all we've got to do is place this there. Bring a shaft down here. And can we place a little cog there? No. Oh, we have to move this all back one. That's okay. And this should work now, I think. All right, and the machine's overstressed. I think we just need to get rid of this millstone thingy. Yeah, that should work. We shouldn't need that for a while. So now I think if we chuck our iron on top of here... Yes, there we go. We got the bonk achievement. All right. I'll just let this press go for a little while and then we can actually craft the other things that we need. All right, a few more things gathered up here. You can see we've got 30 iron sheets now. So first thing we're going to need is four of these mechanical bearings. We're also going to need 12 mechanical harvesters. I think I should have enough for this. I've only got enough for seven. Oh boy. Oh, this is really going to eat up all of our materials. And here we go. Finally, 12 of these things. We're also going to need some of these chutes, four water wheels, and also some of these portable storage interfaces. I think we need eight of these, which means we need eight more of those. Okay, that gives us six. Just two more anisite casing, and we're good. Right, let's actually just plonk a chest down here and put all of our important stuff in, because there is actually one more thing that we're going to need, and that is this super glue, which requires us to get some slime balls. Now, we could go and kill some slime, but there is this crafting recipe here with some lime dye and some dough. I think I want to go this route instead of looking for slime. Now lime dye that's super easy to craft is white dye and green dye. And we can actually get green dye by putting ferns in the millstone. And to get the dough we need to make some wheat flour and put that with a water bucket. And to get wheat flour we have to put wheat inside the millstone as well. So first things first let's just disconnect this so we can put our millstone back here. We'll chuck our wheat in there. Craft ourselves a pair of shears so we can get ourselves some ferns. Oh yes look at this. Five wheat flour let's get these ferns in there as well. Well, while that's going, let's craft ourselves some white dye, just like that. Oh, 10 green dye already, let's go. Right, so that gives us lime dye. We put our wheat flour with a bucket of water to get our dough. And just like that, slime balls, yes. Which I think now means we can craft our glue. Oh, we're missing an iron sheet. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, and now super glue. Yes. And with that, we should have pretty much everything we need to automate our crops. Might just need a few building blocks. But honestly, for that, I think we're just going to use some spruce wood. So yeah, I'm going to go away and get that put up. And once it's done, I can show you how it all works. Oh boy, wish me luck. Okay, and a little bit later, all the farms are in. And look at them go, they're all working as well. I can't lie, I do slightly feel like a genius right now. But look at these, it's so cool just to see things moving around the base. That kind of is what Crit is all about, I suppose. I love it, it just adds so much immersion to our area. Now, these things, honestly, pretty simple to throw up. We've got a little water wheel under here. And on top of that, we've got a mechanical bearing. Build out some blocks of some spruce wood. Put our harvesters on. A chest to collect the items. And then this portable storage interface collects the items. And then deposits them in this chest. Now, I was kind of a moron and didn't make enough of these harvesters. So I just had to craft an extra four just to get this wheat one going as well. But each of the crops is all hooked up. Now, as you can see, we're collecting a whole bunch of stuff now. Now, these things aren't really the fastest in the world. I've kind of been letting these run for a little while to collect some items. But while I waited, I headed back over to the coast just so that I could collect myself some kelp, which I've actually smelled up into dry kelp. We're going to need that in a minute. And if you notice, there's pods all here. I also spent a little bit of time chopping some giant spruce trees just because we're going to need quite a lot of wood. And I also caught a couple of cows because before this episode ends, so we are going to need a little bit of leather. So I need to remember to keep breeding these guys up throughout the rest of this video. But like I said, a goal for this video is actually going to be automating a food source. I know we could just eat raw carrots or craft our wheat into some bread. But what I think I want to do is actually automate cooking these potatoes. Now, if we look at the recipe for baked potatoes here, obviously we could cook them on a campfire, cook them in a furnace, or even better yet, cook them in a smoker. But even better than that, we're actually cooking them with an encased fan with some fire because that way we're not going to be burning any fuel. And basically, we're just going to get free baked potatoes. And to Craft an encased fan, it's pretty easy. Just an anisite casing, a shaft, and also this propeller. Anisite alloy and some more iron sheets. That should be super easy. We'll just bonk all that iron and just craft up a couple other bits. And here we go, encased fan. Oh, perfect. We've got a little bit of netherrack. I just need a bit of flint, which we can get from putting gravel in the millstone. Just give me a little bit of you. Throw you in there. And flint, lovely. Now we can get our flint and steel. Right, I think what I'm going to do is make a little temporary setup here, just so I can explain how this thing's actually going to work. So we'll put our encased fan here. We actually need to borrow this gearbox. 
So there we go. We've got a fan moving. We'll place down our nether rack and get some fire. And now I notice that the fan's blowing the wrong way. You can see particles are coming into the fan. We actually want them going the other way, but that's an easy fix. We'll just put a gearbox there and then put our fan back on again. And there we go. We can see we've got particles going from left to right now. So put the fire back. And now all we should need to do is just chuck some potatoes on there, which I think we've got a few. Oh yeah, we're getting them. We're getting them. But let's chuck these on there and they should eventually turn into some baked potatoes. Yes. Oh, the timing. And there we go. That's how the fan works. I know you can put different stuff in front of the fan. Like, I think if you put lava, you can cook ores and stuff. And if you put water, it washes blocks. We'll be getting into that a different episode, though. But I think my plan here is actually going to be pretty simple. All we're going to do is break this chest. I'm going to have a little section underground here where items are going to fall out the chute onto a conveyor belt. And then we'll use the fan to cook the potatoes that land on it. And I guess just for now, we'll have like a little temporary storage thing underground. Probably get that fixed up once the actual house is in. So yeah, give me just a second. And then I'll show you what I got. Now, after a little bit longer than I care to admit, I have finally got this thing working now. You can see potatoes drop onto this conveyor belt here from the chute up above. They get cooked into baked potatoes, get sucked up by this funnel, and then get deposited into this big double chest. So we're going to have more food than we know what to do with at this point. I was kind of struggling with getting the potatoes to cook in time with just the one fan. What I managed to do was actually slow down the speed of the rotation with these cog wheels here, just so we got the belt moving nice and slow, which just about gives enough time for the potatoes to get cooked by the fan, which you can see is powered back there by another water wheel. So yeah, a little bit of figuring out here, just trying to get the timings right. But finally, we have this thing working now. For the time being, we're just going to leave the storage there. But once the house is built up in the middle, we'll try and get that routed up over and it should all be good, which honestly is a nice little segue into actually getting the house built. There's probably a few more blocks I want to grab to do that. Got a nice amount of spruce wood here. I think I might pop down to the cave and get a bit more deep slate and also pop over to that oak forest to grab a little bit more oak wood. And I'll probably grab a bit more stone as well while I'm at it. So let's go grab those materials. I wasn't really planning to bring you guys back, but I was in this river looking for some clay and I found another village. Look at this thing <gasps> and another waystone. Oh, this is just such great news. Oh, look at this. All the houses are made of terracotta. This is so cute. Right, first things first, let's make sure this is activated because I'm going to be needing that shortly. And yo, has this place got a castle? What is this? Oh, this is so awesome. Yo, let's go. Is there any loot in here? <gasps> Chests, some rice and potatoes and bread. Honestly, don't really need that right now. But hey, this stretch is pretty cool. Oh, pumpkin seeds. I'll actually take those. Oh, look at this as the blacksmith. I mean, diamonds. That'd be pretty good. You know what? Iron horse armor and a couple of chest plates. That is actually pretty decent. You know, I'll take this grindstone and the smithing table too. Oh, and a fresh anvil. All right. Some of the village generation is, uh, I don't know, slightly questionable. Oh, damn campfire. Oh, and quite a lot on the bounty board here. All seems fishing related. Jeez, I haven't done any fishing yet. Kind of forgot about that one. But I mean, overall, there isn't really a whole lot of loot here. You know what? Speaking of fishing, this is a great spot to do it. Look at this. This is so nice. But I think with that, there's not really too much left to explore here. I mean, if you want to come back, we're not really too far from home. We're up here and the base is just there. Well, speaking of, that looks kind of cool. But thanks for discovering this waystone. Getting home is as easy as that. And I think with that, I should have pretty much everything we need to start building. So yeah, let me get a few bits sorted. We have a couple bits to craft and then we can get building. And we are just about ready to start building. And don't worry, I've not forgotten to breed these guys, but I've got all my materials gathered up here in this chest. I've been processing a bit of this cobblestone here just so we can vary up the textures a little bit. But there's a couple more things that I want to craft here. First one being this carpenter's table. Thank you. And then also this mason table, which now you can see why I wanted some clay earlier. Now I've been over these before in the last create series so i'm not really going to go into too much detail here but with these it lets you change up the texture of some vanilla blocks so you can see we can turn spruce planks into any of these things here like these spruce plank shavings and there we go we got a different spruce texture now and this mason table works exactly the same except it works with stone so you can see stone we have so many options here we can give it like a sandy texture i mean i'm not really too sure about those two textures but you get the point so yeah with all of these blocks here and our chip benches i'm gonna spend some time getting this house built up let's get it done
and here we are, the finished starter base. Didn't really have too much of a plan for this thing, but it's come out pretty nice, considering I was just winging it. Overall, I think it's come out pretty well. It's quite an interesting shape. I especially like these cog wheels as a little detail. I kind of tried to use this sort of arch the window, trying to use the crate more for some aesthetic things as well. And you may notice some cogs on top of the roof there too. I mean, you kind of just need to ignore the fact that they're cogs and they're just decoration. It's a bit weird, but I like it. But as well as the exterior of the house, I made this little pond thing. I'm not really too sure if it fits, but this area seemed a little bit bare. So this may be subject to change. And I also sorted out the wall around the outside of the farm and put some coarse dirt around the edge too, just to sort of frame the whole build. But if we come inside here, you see I've done somewhat of an interior. We've got our crafting stuff over here, as well as our chip benches. We've got a little bit of storage. We've got a bed. And I also threw in our smithing table and anvil that we looted from that last village. But not only that, I've got our crate machines in here as well. I made an extra press and given it some depots too. And I've also given it enough power so all of this works without breaking. Now if we hop into free cam here, you can see I've made a monstrosity of power down here just hidden out the way because honestly who wants to look at that and another thing that i did if i flick up this trap door here we can hop down and actually access where our baked potatoes are being made and oh boy we have so many right now oh, this thing's so awesome i mean this bit still needs decorating but i'll probably get that done between episodes and speaking of which there's actually one more thing that i want to do today but that's going to require us to share some sheep oh three wool just what i needed and we're also going to need some leather Yep, sorry about that, ladies. Because I want to craft myself a backpack. And to do that, we're going to need to make a sleeping bag, just like this. We need a couple of these backpack tanks. There we go. And here we go. We can craft our very first standard traveler's backpack. Oh, look at this. It holds quite a few items. And I also think it can hold liquid. I mean, let's actually just quickly try that. Why not? So we put a bucket of water in here. Yes, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. But there's a whole load of stuff we can do with these backpacks. I think we can upgrade them, give them different themes. Stuff will get into in a different episode because for now i think i'm gonna chuck this one on my back oh geez it looks so cool and i'm gonna end this episode here i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe and leave your suggestions in the comments i'll catch you in the next one bye hey if you like this video then check out this other one it'd be pretty cool if you watched it right and hey if you made it this far into the video leave a comment saying lockdown is cool and i know you made it to the end